Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This week we are continuing the Inktober challenge. So far it hasn't been too hard because my plan of doing some prep sketches in advance has worked out and I've been able to start each day with a general idea of what I'll draw. Let's get started. On day 8 the prompt was Nightshade. This fascinating plant has some poisonous varieties known as Belladonna in Italy. So I decided to draw an elf with a bit of femme fatale vibe. Rumor has it in her town that she had four husbands, all of whom mysteriously disappeared. Her delicate appearance and small frame have never raised suspicion with the authorities, but some citizens believe she is behind their disappearance. For this character, I wanted her hair to be darker than the others, but not black, so I layered two greys and it worked. I gave her a nose piercing with a belladonna berry, though I'm not sure if I like it. I wanted to give her a different background, since she is not exactly a positive character. But I thought it might clash with the others on the same page, so I chose green to complement the red inner design. I loved the earrings I gave her, I'd like a pair for myself. Overall, I really like how this entry turned out. On day 9, the prompt was Chameleon. Since chameleons are masters of camouflage, I thought this character should be some sort of spy. He's also a druid, finishing his studies at Owl's school, and he started supporting the royal family by gathering information for them. I wanted his hair to resemble the frills around the chameleon's face. I think I messed up the angle, as the three-quarter view didn't give the effect I was hoping for. A front view probably would have worked better. Unfortunately, I hadn't planned this prompt much, so if I could change something, it would be the face orientation. Still, I like the design and I gave him small horns to mimic some chameleon species. Plus, a lot of colorful accents in his outfit. Maybe the eyes are too big, but overall I'm happy with how it came out. On day 10, the prompt was Begonia. This flower symbolizes protection and new beginnings, so I thought I create a soldier elf who after suffering serious injury, can no longer carry out all the soldier's duties. However, due to her loyalty to the crown, she was offered a position as the queen's personal guard. Over time, they developed a close friendship based on trust. Since this elf rarely goes into battle, her armor is less protective than the other soldiers. I wanted to give her a scar on her face to show her resilience and I finally decided to place it on her jaw, so it wouldn't interfere with her features but would still look potentially life-threatening given its proximity to the jugular. She was fun to draw and I'm really happy with how she turned out.
On day 11, the prompt was rabbit. This animal represents innocence and purity, and it's very shy. Given its small size, I decided to create a young elf girl with pure white hair, like rabbit's fur. She is also a druid and has some small mutations, like her hair color, prominent teeth and yellow eyes. Maybe this mix was a bit tricky because she ended up looking a little creepy <laughs> when my intention was to create a sweet, cute ch- This elf is an excellent student and it's Ivy's daughter. Yes, Ivy. So she's also the king's secret daughter. Despite her slightly creepy look, which is fitting for October, I really like how she came out. On day 12, the prompt was Orchid. The orange orchid symbolized vitality and courage, which immediately made me think of a soldier. However, I also discovered that the orchid is an hermaphroditic flower, so I wanted to create a character with an ambiguous gender. In the sketch, I found a balance I liked, but once I inked it, The sideburns made the character look more masculine than I intended. Don't get me wrong, I love the final result, but I wish it leaned more toward being gender neutral. This elf is a high-ranked soldier in command of their own battalion. As you'll see, I had some issue with my golden pen. It died halfway through the armor. I tried a trick I saw with markers, flipping the tip to use the ink that has settled inside. But even though I finished coloring the armor, it still looked streaky. Guess I'll have to buy a new one when I get my paycheck. On day 13, the prompt was Fern. After reading about it, I learned that ferns are one of the world's oldest plants and symbolize mystery and the unknown. I decided this elf would be a powerful sorceress and fortune teller. Unlike other elven magic users, she doesn't use druid magic, but rather the rarer elven magic that draws power from the nature. Everyone in the kingdom comes to her for advice and healing from wounds or diseases that druids can cure. I found a stunning reference photo of an elderly woman who looked almost like a goddess, which felt perfect for this design. This drawing was a fun challenge Watching the portrait age as I added wrinkles was so satisfying. I also enjoyed drawing her fern headpiece. This is probably my favorite portrait of the week. On day 14, the prompt was cat. Being a cat lover, I already knew some things about them, like how they were highly valued by monks in the past for keeping mice away from sacred books. Besides that, cats symbolize independence and vigilance. This druid elf joined Fern long ago to assist her with fortune telling and improve her magical skills. As for her design, I wasn't sure how to incorporate cut traits until I found some adorable Asian hairstyles that resembled cut ears. 
Her mutation aren't very obvious, but her magic is very powerful. I managed to get a new gold pen, but as usual I got carried away and brought not only that, but also a silver one and three grey beat artist pens. I love these pens, even though I haven't used them much yet. And that wraps up another weeks of Inktober. I'm having a blast with this challenge, even though it's starting to get a bit tiring. I'm really happy with how things are going, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and maybe subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. See you next week with another Inktober video. Bye!